I'm a little in awe of the film. Okay. I have uh, lots of ideas floating around in my head. One is, is I appreciate a film that where the people who are in trouble ask for help. Because at some point, everybody, in their own way, asks for help. Do you feel that way about your character? Um, yes, I do. I didn't think of it that way, that she asked for help. I think she's looking for, you know, help or... Yeah, she might not verbalize it, help me. Right, and, but there and is... She is the, she's the one that probably holds back the longest. Right, that's true. Yeah. What is troubling her the most? I think it's a combination of things, and I think it's things that happened in her childhood. You know, abusive, dark situations, and how she responded to them. Are you aware when you're in the middle of a film, especially working with, with Paul, that you're working with a director who's special? Yes. He's just am amazing. He is. He's a genius. And he's a brilliant artist, and he just has this amazing capability of capturing the souls of people and, you know, writing it out and then getting it out on film. And there's a real redemptive quality. I know that word's thrown around a lot, but that's really true about this film. But his other work, too. Yeah. But it's not just showing us how dark we can be. But that we can transcend that and come out of it. Right. And I don't want to give away the end of the film, but you have just, you know, the great shot at the end of the film. Right. Which, which is a lot about hope. Yes, I agree. For people who are probably pretty hopeless at that time. Yes. What kind of director is he with you? He doesn't throw chairs. He doesn't... No, he's you know, never thrown a chair. Not a maniac. <laughs> he's, How does um, he get out of you what he wants? I don't know. How does he communicate with you? He, um, we just talk, and he just knows when we're working. He just knows the right thing to do at the right time. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. It's totally amazing. I, I don't know how to put it into words. In the grand scheme of making films or even working on television, is he unique, and in what way is he unique? I think he is unique because I think, as I said before, I think he really is looking at humanity, at people, you know, how we all work. Mm -hmm. And I think he's also really unique in that when he, the, what he chooses to make for his film is that, you know, it's like showing people, you know, look, this is what's going on. You're affecting this person, they're affecting this person. and. And it's unique that it's not just that, that, they, that then he makes this symphony of da-da, and you can rise above it. You don't have to be stuck. You don't have to suffer for the rest of your life. I think that's unique. At one point in the middle of a movie, I felt like I was watching a human opera. Yes. On film. It's operatic, yes. It's very operatic. Yes. I want to ask you an odd question about acting. If you didn't make a dime acting, yes. take away sense of income or publicity or notoriety about what you're doing, it just gets down to the moment of doing it. What mm -hmm. do you really love about acting? I guess I love that that moment of doing it where you just everything is like so alive and you're being this character and it's just all there. I, I guess I love that. Do you find acting fulfilling as fulfilling now as when you first started? Um you know acting with for Paul with Paul is the most fulfilling I've ever found it. Hmm. When is acting bad? Acting is really bad when... Uh, acting itself is not bad. There are bad situations, but there are bad <laughs> situations in life. There are bad situations when I go to the store. There you go. Or I fly on a plane. Exactly. Or I have to deal with other people sometimes. Exactly. I guess that's it's normal in, in normal true life. <laughs> hmm. Very good. Nice job. Good to see you in this film. Thank you. Really good work. Thank you.